up beautiful people and welcome back to Toya CTV. I'm back. We are on episode 8 of House of the Dragon. Okay, and I know things are about to get hotter up in here because last episode, I went back and watched the last episode because I missed a few things. I was wondering why Damon was laughing, but when this, uh, Corliss's brother was talking during the funeral, he was saying something about... um the the valerian blood and how it won't go thin or something like that and that's why damon was laughing i was like damon why are you laughing bro like no you don't laugh at a funeral but that's why he was laughing that's what i think and also i missed when viserys called uh called uh alicent emma i was like uh oh when i when i saw that i was like wait a minute he called her Emma? But yes, he called her Emma. So I missed those two things. Did I miss anything else? Uh, no. But last episode was good. I mean, every episode keeps getting better and better to me. And I know this episode is a small time jump because I saw pictures of the kids that are older. Because Eamon had on the eye patch because, was it the smaller one? Luke. Luke slashed him in the face because he he got Vagar, which I'm still kind of salty about, like how he bonded with him so fast. He got Agar and the power got to his head. He like, oh, I got a dragon now. Nobody can mess with me. So um, he stole the dragon and they didn't even say nothing about that last episode. Allison was just, of course, worried about her child and why y'all why is his eye slashed of course he was worried about that but nobody said anything about him stealing the dragon and so of course the kids they was like no you're not gonna get away with this they jumped his behind okay and i was here for it because <laughs> he was just talking all kind of big bad like i'm gonna burn you like your dad and luke was like what are you talking about my dad is still alive and he was like, Lord Harwin was your dad. And uh, yeah. But um, yeah, he, he's Billy Badass now since he got a dragon. And the biggest one in the freaking world. And I'm like, oh. And Otto was like, when they was having that whole exchange with Allison. Speaking of Allison. <laughs> every episode, it's my, my dislike for her grows more and more. I understand you wanted justice for your son like a mother would act like, you know, something got has to be done. But of course, Viserys is going to not do anything really bad or forceful to his daughter and his grandkids, even though it was his son. But yeah, I mean, he was like, what you expect me to do? She was like, oh. We could take one of the boys' eyes. Ma'am, you're taking it too far. And I was mad that she did not get in trouble. I know she the queen, but she slashed the heir's arm. Okay? This whole episode was bananas. Okay? And then the end. I thought they killed my boy, uh, 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 Leon. But no. V uh, Rhaenyra's set him free i mean renera renera set him free like i know you say you're gonna be committed to me cause, and be a good husband but i know that's not what you want to do you want to go off with your boyfriend and sail off in the sunset so they devised this plan at first i was like i know y'all not about to kill leon and if this is your first time watching one of my reactions i call Lenor leon <laughs> but yeah, I thought they killed him, but no, he cut his dreads off. Um, and him and uh, Carl are going where people don't care about names. They just care about gold and money. But my thing is, Corliss and Renice think they lost both of their kids. But I don't think that's the last time we're going to see Leon. I think he going to pop up. Okay? Pop back up. Um, Otto ass is back as the hand. 
And it was like so quick. But my thing is, after Viserys like fired you, you you was like, okay, I'll be your hand again. And Viserys, you know this man be scheming. Why you hired him back? You couldn't get somebody else. Yeah. Um, what else? They sent uh Lenore off very well. I like that. Her coffin was beautiful. It was like car, hand carved. I like that. Um, what else? I think that's it. I'm ready to get into this. I don't want to talk too long because these intros begin long. But yes, so if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop a video. And enough talking because I'm excited to see this. Because in Game of Thrones history, 8, 9, and 10, especially 9, especially episode 9, be crazy. 9 and 10. Okay, but anywho, enough talking. Let's get right into it. Corliss died, and she said it's been six years. Who is that little girl? Is that one of the granddaughters? To Lucerus Valarian, as is my lord husband's desire. Uh -oh. I am the sea snake's own blood. Uh oh. The closest king. All right, Vayman. Wait a minute. My cousin the king would have your tongue for this. Uh oh. The king who sits the iron throne these days, good sister. Well, who sits the throne? It's a queen. What? Allison sits on the throne. It's starting off crazy already. <laughs> oh. What is that? Oh, a dragon's egg. Who? Don't you supposed to wait till it come out by itself? Uh, Damon! Okay, that was Bela. I don't expect you to learn High Valyrian in a day, Jace. A king should honor the traditions of his forebears. Has the viper's venom spread so far? Those vipers rule in my father's name. Is he still alive six years later? Oh, she is pregnant. That's what I, I thought she looked pregnant. Landing, uh, she probably haven't been to King's Landing all this time. I would say it's nice to be home, but I scarcely recognize it. Mm. Your guests have arrived, Your Grace. I trust they've been welcomed as befits their station. Oh, God, shut up. <laughs> your Grace, a matter has arisen that requires your attention. Whatever it is, Sir Eric, you need to wait. There's been a delicate situation in his apartments. Oh, gosh. Is it Aegon? What do you do? He is still alive. This man... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And he's still holding on? But his makeup is on point because he looks like he is dying for real. They had two! And she's pregnant again. It's for Sarah. He look horrible. Is that tea? Stand you find yourself in some trouble. When I turned, I didn't see him. 
I asked you to stop. Lord. Is something gonna happen to her? I do. Is something gonna happen to Diana? I know now saw what happened between the two of you. And Talia, and now me. And though I believe you were not to blame, others might not be so trusting. You're the sort of girl that might have enticed him in the first place. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Yeah. What is that? Money? Poor thing. Is it the plan BT? It's best to be certain. Yes, it is. Drink it, girl, for she have you killed. I knew when he was jacking off in the window, he was weird. Get up! Oh my gosh. <sighs> Harmless fun. The shame on your wife. On me. He married? How can you keep carrying on like this? It's not a day like today. Why? What is it today? Yes, keep hitting him. Uh oh. And I try so. I try so hard, but it will never be enough for you or father. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's been so long since we were granted the joy of your presence. <laughs> oh, the scar. <laughs> and blinks and wheezes. I'd be surprised if he could remember his own name or if you could. King Viserys is who most is. Of course, it is they who keep him admined on milk of the poppy while the high towers warm his throne. Oh. Which authority will sit in judgment of my son's claim on his own inheritance? That would be mine. Oh. And the hands. So be assured the father is just and commands me to forget the accusations you have heard against him today. Ooh. And then she give a smirk. Why are everybody looking at them like that? Oh, there go Kristen. Who is this with this white hair? Damon here wasn't that long. That's Amon. He like Damon. Oh my gosh, is he trying to hit him for real? Nephews? Uh oh. You come to train? Uh oh. I knew he was gonna be a badass because he could kind of fight when he was fighting, when the kids was jumping him. Okay, this is Vayman. Why is he here? Oh, it's about to be something. It is about to be something because why is he here? He may yet live. But we must be prepared if he does not. The threat of war looms and may arrive on our shores. When it does, will you want a child at the command? Oh, gosh. Might I speak to the princess alone, Raina? And she looked like the other girl, the little version of her. <laughs> they, ca they be casting. The casting crew is on point. You intend to advocate for yourself? No. Uh oh That's by the queen in the hand I'd wage to proclaim my son illegitimate. Yet you did worse than that with Lainor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Back Luke's claim and let us betroth Lainor's children to mine. Uh-oh, what? Lainor will be queen of the Seven Kingdoms. You told me. It was our duty to hold the realm united against a common foe. By naming the heir, you divided the realm. I thought I wanted to. If you wish me to bear it, then defend me. He don't be remembering. My children. I want to have supper after. The whole of my family. 
Oh God, let the threat keep. Everybody, oh God. He like, okay, this this is gonna be the last supper. Though it is the great hope of this court that Lord Corbett. Did they add Mario more swords? His we gather here with a grim task of dealing with the succession of Dripmark and all other matters. No, oh, gosh, and then he gonna sit down on the Brown throne. Now hear the petitions. I have spent my entire life on Dritchmark defending my brother's seat. I am Lord Corliss's closest kin, his own blood. What do you know of Valarian blood, Princess? Uh oh. I have cut my way to be shown to you. And you stole it. Oh. This is about the answer. I will start by reminding the court that nearly twenty years ago in this very room. Uh oh. Lord, he is walking. Everybody's so shocked. He looked like the humpback of Notre Dame. I'm surprised he has enough strength to walk. Can he make it up those stairs? He gonna fall on the sword. <laughs> Oh, I'm scared he's gonna fall on the sword. Oh my God! Somebody help this man! No, help him! Oh, Damon! Oh, Damon! Oh, why that made me teary-eyed? Oh, Damon! Oh, that was very nice of him. I do not understand why petitions are being heard over a settled succession. Oh. The only one present who might offer keener insight to Lord Corliss's wishes is the Princess Rhaenys. It was ever my husband's will that Driftmark pass through Selenor to his true-born son, Lucerus Valarian. His mind never changed. As a matter of fact, the Princess Rhaenyra has just informed me of her desire to marry her son's Jason Luke to Lord Corliss's granddaughters. I heartily agree. What? That is no true Valarian. Okay. And certainly no nephew of mine. Good you, Chambers, you have said enough. May run your house as you see fit. This what? Uh oh, Damon. Our children. Oh. Our bastards. She is a whore. Oh my God. But have your tongue. But serious, if. Oh my God, Damon! Uh oh, he about to pass out. He about to fall. Oh! How can she just stand there and look at that? The body will be ready for its return to Driftmark on the morrow, my lady. Why they do that in the in the Great Hall, where he was going to the throne? Why they do that? Why they care this man? And the bonds that have been broken for far too long. And to Damon Valarian, may the gods give him rest. <laughs> Damon. My grandsons, Jesus and Luke, will marry their cousin, Bela and Raina. No, they're kind of happy about that. Bond our Jakes, you'll finally get to lie with a woman. Oh, Aegon, shut up. As well. So distant from each other. And he has passed. Oh, don't. He gonna take it off what it's gonna look like. Oh, what it's gonna look like. Oh my gosh. It is gone. It is a hole. You can see through it. 
Oh! -ho -ho -ho. May not, it seems. Walk for much longer among you. Okay, now. Oh, and inside his face ate up, too. And aside your pretenses. I wish to raise my cup to her grace the queen. Uh, why are you looking down? Yes, put that thing back on. I love my father. My apology. Is she going to say something? You will make a fine queen. I, um, I regret the disappointment you seem to suffer. What? But if you ever wish to know what it is to be well satisfied, or you go sit <laughs> down somewhere. Prince Edmund, oh, oh. we have not seen each other in years, but I have fond memories of our shared youth. Uh oh. Amen. They'll be married soon. It isn't so bad. Mostly he just ignores you. Except sometimes when he's drunk. <laughs> Wait. Is he married to his sister? There's something about to happen. Because this is too happy. Everybody's smiling, laughing, getting along for now. Oh my gosh, this man. He is really holding on. Don't fall out of the chair. Amen. I can't I can't lie or deny. Amen look like a badass. Luke. Uh oh, uh oh. To the health of my nephews. Oh. Jace. Luke. Joffrey. Each of them handsome, wise, strong. Amen. Come to these three strong boys. I dare you to say that again. Why? Oh, strong. Do you not think yourself strong? <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, stop it. People here to stop it this time. All right, Damon. Thank you. Go to your quarters. All of you go now. Oh, Damon. Damon, you just like, I mean, Amy, you just like your uncle. Woo, Amen is the baddest. And Damon like that. <laughs> See the children home. Harlem. Return on Dragonback. If he survives, when are you gonna come back, Renee? Because that man don't have much time left, even though he's holding on. Oh, oh, Damon going to see his girl. It's been quite a night at the castle. Oh no. She still got little birdies or snitches. If I believe it to be true. What? Believe what to be true, my king. Hey, Our son. His dream. The song of ice. And fun. Tis true. Wait, what? Why so I don't know. Prince Edmund. What? What is he telling her to do? Oh God! Can they not show him? Can, can I get off his face, please? I understand, my king. What is he saying? What is he telling her that she must do? Uh oh! Is he gone? Is he gone? All right, folks. So that was episode eight. And I knew 
This episode was too calm for something crazy not to happen. But first, let's get into the older boys now. So, I'm going to just go ahead and say it like I said in my reaction. Eamon looks like a badass, okay? With that one patch, that long hair, how he look. He remind me of Damon, okay? And the boys still got beef, which... They have a right to. They still got beef. Um, but, uh, and they they was making sly little digs, especially at that dinner. The last supper. That was the last supper, especially for uh, Viserys. Because I'm like, this man is still alive. Six years later, he was holding on. And I pray I never have to see a family member get that ill like that because oh my gosh i just felt sorry for him because he was in pain felt i feel sorry for allison even though i don't like her i felt sorry for rhaenyra because that's her dad and just to see him like that i was like oh my gosh oh <sighs> but yes um so uh they went back because this whole petition for Driftmark because at first I thought they said Corliss died, but they say he's badly injured. I'm like, okay. I thought he died and fell in the water and okay. But so they doing petitions. Vayman, which is Corliss's brother, is uh, petitioning for Driftmark's throne. And of course, Renera is petitioning for her son, Luke or Laceris, for the Driftmark throne. And... Was there somebody else? No, just those two. And Corliss always said, this is what Renee said, that he always said Prince Laceris was going to take over. And when they were in the room, is it the Great Hall? That's the Great Hall, right? So when they was in the Great Hall petitioning, here come Viserys. I'm like, this man has enough energy to get up and walk. He was all humped over. I'll tell you, the actor Patty, I can't believe his name, Patty. But Patty, he did a great job pretending, not pretending, acting as if he was really dying and really ill. He did a great job. But uh, he walked in and he almost made it to the throne by himself. But going up the stairs to the throne, I was nervous. I'm like, Aloy, is he going to fall on the sword? This sword has, I mean, this th throne has not been good to him, okay? But he almost made it, but he dropped his crown, and Damon came and helped him. And I thought that was so sweet and so nice. He even brought a little tear to my eye. But just to see Damon help him, helping him, because he always loved his brother, but just the way he was treated and the way Damon was acting, it just never... You know, he was never the hand and things like that. Or never on the court. But yes. Ah, then what else happened? I'll go back to the older kids. They casted, especially the girls. Especially Raina. To me, she looked like the younger Raina. And I just realized that Bela cut her locks off and just grew her hair out. Okay, girl. But, um... Yes, did she have locks? Yeah, both of them had locks. But yes, they casted the kids very well, just like they casted Allison and Ren Rhaenyra well as the older one. Um, we saw Sir Kristen. Of course, he was training Eamon. Uh, who else did we see? I mean, we saw everybody. But I knew that dinner, the Last Supper, was too good to be true. I said, this is too happy. Everybody getting along. Something going to happen. And lo and behold, the boy, the kids beefing. Everything was good. It seemed like Allison and Renera was on the same page. But the kids. Oh, and also, huh, Damon. And Damon. So, Damon in the room. I know I'm all over the place. Damon in the room, 
uh, telling the truth about the kids. Like, they're bastards. They don't have Valerian blood, which everybody knew. But he just had to voice it. Like, they are not driftmark. They should not be on the throne. And he was just going on and on. And Viserys pulled out um, the knife, which is cat's paw. That's what it's called, cat's paw. And was like, you better not. Your tongue, I'm going to cut your tongue out. Sir, you are on your deathbed. Sit down somewhere. But here come Damon. <laughs> Chop the man. He chopped his head off. He chopped half his head off so his tongue could still be attached. Like, he could keep his th tongue. I'm like, Lord. Lord. But anywho, did I miss anything? I was just happy to see, kind of happy to see Allison and Rhaenyra kind of uh, make amends. But at the end, Prince Aegon, I mean Prince Aegon, Viserys, was... You know, saying bits and pieces of ice and fire. Um, and I watched the inside of the episode. So, they said that he thought he was talking to Rhaenyra. Because Rhaenyra knows the story. But Allison doesn't. So, I think Allison was piecing together that he was saying that Prince Aegon should be on the throne and not Rhaenyra. So, I don't know what she's going to do with that piece of information. But, anywho. This was another good episode. So... If you made it to the end of this end of this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop a video. Thumbs up. Comment. What do you think about this episode? And follow me on Instagram and TikTok at herstyles with the Z15. Alright, folks, I'll see you on the next one.